Welcome to another uh, VC Physics coaching video. I'm Phil Noonan, and recently we've been looking at area of study uh, one in unit three physics, year 12 physics. And we looked at gravity, electrostatics, and magnetism. All right, notice how we completed the basics of a whole area of study, which is good practice for you to do. See if you can finish an entire chapter, or ideally even a whole area of study eventually. Um, and if you finish a whole chapter before moving to something different, uh, then you're, you're completing a more substantial workload rather than just flitting from one thing to another. Okay, but, and on the converse side of it, it is actually good to move on rather than develop a favorite subject and just push on and on and on and not um, dedicate time to moving on to another subject. That's also a bit of a trap too. So today we're gonna move on and pivot to year 11 physics actually, unit one unit one physics and area of study one. And we're looking at waves. Um, eventually we'll look at how it applies to light, but we're just looking at wave basics today. Actually in year 12 physics is the last year of the old course. And you look at the wave basics in unit four, but unit one is starting a brand new course this year. And it's gonna be the same material in unit one. So a wave can be defined as a transfer of matter without any, sorry, excuse me, the transfer of energy without the net transfer of matter. So I might even write that down. So the transfer of energy without net or overall transfer of matter. But um, particles can move if it's a mechanical wave. Um, some waves don't have any medium at all, such as a light wave. That's how we can be modeled anyway. So just imagine a little boat on a water wave here, okay? The boat could be modeled just going up and down only. Um, in fact, it would be more accurately modeled as a circle actually, it goes in a bit of a circular path. But we could just model it as up and down. You notice a surfer and a circle, they just tend to go up and down. But the wave, if it's progressing to the right, will go that way. Okay, so there's two kinds of graphs we can look at. One is the amplitude variation uh, vertically, let's say amplitude uh, versus distance on that axis there. So there's two questions. Might we start with the second one first? Let's show the wavelength on the graph. And the wavelength is defined as the distance between two points of equal phase. So that could be uh, here, I'll just change color a little bit. So that might be here to here, or it might be from there to there. That could be defined as a wavelength or here to here, that's a wavelength. What's another one? Maybe, uh, but we haven't done yet. Maybe we do this one there, there, for example, but I might just do this, finish on this one here. We'll mark it. The symbol for wavelength is the Greek letter Lambda. Again, I might just change pens type there. And I'll just do a little dotted line there. Okay, so the temptation or the trap can be just to say that that's half a wavelength there. And that point and that point are not in equal phase. Uh, here, for example, the boat, if the waveform is moving to the right, the boat is moving up on the front of the wave, if we want to imagine it that way. But if the boat was over here, then the boat would be moving down, down the uh, other side of the wave as it's passed through. All right, so that's, we've marked the wavelength on the graph. And then we we'll look at part A, what is the wavelength in metres? And remember, a wavelength can be seen as a snapshot. It's like a photograph of a waveform at one frozen moment in time. And to get the wavelength, we just simply read it off the graph. And I want you to note that um, the scale has been given in centimeters here. Okay, so uh, as this, the graph's really not drawn to scale, if I've got a boat there and it's in centimeters, but just wanted you to get practice in noticing that because it can be a trap to not read the scale properly. And it was asked to be given in meters. So 
the wavelength would be two um, centimeters. So I could write two by 10 to the minus two, uh, and we'll just put lambda. And that's the equivalent to the English letter L. Two by 10 to the minus two uh, meters to one significant figure, or I could write 0 0.02 meters as well. All right, so that's just a basic look at waves and wavelengths. Uh, and that's, that's basically for today. We could look at also how wave varies with time. That's what we could look at in our next video. So just a very simple brief introduction to waves today. If you are working steadily through your exercises in your textbook and you'd like some assistance uh, to get your entire exercise done or some exam preparation assistance, uh, email me at philipanewman at gmail.com. Thanks for watching another VC Physics coaching video.